It's three hours before the flight. You've got your passport in hand and your bag just disappeared in a conveyor belt, hopefully making it to the plane. It's the experience of millions of us every year, and our thirst for travel is making airports like here in Amsterdam look to new technology. Airports might seem like obvious places for automation, but with thousands of passengers, bits of luggage and other trucks, introducing self-driving vehicles isn't without its challenges. So we've come behind the scenes here to find out what the future has in store for airport logistics. We try to dissect various processes or parts of the airport where we can trial with these new forms of technology. And then if that is proven to be safe and successful, then we can scale to, to different parts of the airport or different processes. There is so much traffic, planes, people. It's quite a big challenge having it here. Indeed, very challenging to add self driving technology in this system that is already optimized. And as you can see, it's very busy already. We don't believe in a turnkey moment that we just go to bed one day and then wake up to an autonomous airport. So we have to trial, we have to explore new technologies, new use cases to gradually grow towards that point. The airport's latest trial is of an autonomous baggage dolly that can help get our luggage from storage in the terminal out to the aircraft. It's effectively like any other vehicle on this airport. You say where you are now, go to stand 17, go pick up a bag, take it to the baggage hall, go to one of the belts, so belt 24, and offload it there. And the computer inside the vehicle will determine the route it needs to take and then go and do it. It has to follow vehicles in front of it, stop at junctions, give way to pedestrians. Uh, and it does that by using LiDAR, so we have a LiDAR sensor here. We also use a number of cameras, so these cameras might be just CCTV cameras you know, for like evidence gathering for example, but also we use stereo cameras here and the stereo cameras are used to identify an obstacle, so is it something that's fixed, is it something that could be moved like a bag that's in the way. This is one of the often hidden parts of the airport, right underneath the main terminal. This is the transfer luggage hall, where baggage that's come off of one plane and needs to go to another one is stored. And one of the big challenges is how to store them and how to transport them between the planes. And that's what they're hoping the self-driving vehicles might help with. For big flights, luggage is often loaded into these containers called ULDs and carried on a trailer out to the aircraft once several of them are full. But the design of this autonomous vehicle changes that process. So this vehicle looks completely different to what you see on an airport because the ULD is on the vehicle, not towed behind it. Once that one ULD is ready, let's get that sent out, load onto the aircraft, then the next one can be getting built in parallel. So the idea is, is to look at challenging the current way that operations are done in airports. Schiphol Airport have also been trialling self-driving vehicles for transporting flight crew and passengers requiring additional help. But the road to us routinely seeing this tech in operation is long. What is the timeline to actually making the airports autonomous? The timeline for a fully autonomous airport is set on 2050, 5 zero. but I'm very surprised in the last two years how far technology has matured. However, integrating that safely in a already very crowded operation might still require us to wait until 2050. With self-driving vehicles becoming more common in other industries and even on our roads, that timeline might feel long. But this is a highly regulated environment, and one of the toughest challenges is convincing authorities this innovation can be brought in safely and ultimately keep airports moving so our flights depart on time.